Well, this is uh, day one of uh, my vlog style birding that I want to do. Um, I'm currently uh, looking for night jar. Now, it's the morning, not the evening, so a lot of you will um, not be surprised that I haven't had much success. But the thing is, if you come in the morning and they're still flying and you get the light, there's a good chance of a photo, hence why I bought my big DLSR to try and get some <coughs> some shots of that. So I've got a cold, and yeah, it's not being uh, very productive. I heard one, and that's it. So now it's just a case of stand here, wait, see if I get lucky. Maybe got like a very last minute flyby. Hope that I can keep the shutter speed. Um, fast enough to capture the image but not slow enough to blur it but uh, if you can see the conditions it's it's uh, grim it's very grey and it's very unlikely and my skills not that good so we'll just see but uh, yeah I came here the other night and they were just flying uh, around me down there very very close it was dark I, I did take some photos of it but um, it's just a case of um, doing the best I can and see what comes what may well Okay, so it's um, six o'clock now. I stuck with the plan. I, I walked around, had a look about, and I did find something, uh, a subject to photo. Um, so like with bird photography or with any wildlife photography, kind of anything that's in the wild is, is a subject. And so you can't, it's, it's, it's a different thing to birding because birding, if you say, oh, I took pictures of yellow hammers today and I was quite happy with how they turned out, then that's not, you know, uh, it's not quite a good day, really. It's, it's a pretty naff day. So that's what I kind of like about photography is that when birding is a, a, a quote-unquote naff day, you can just flip the hobby into a different thing and just make it about the... Um, uh, about the photography and the picture. Now, I say I had some good images of Yellowhammer. I'm going to profess to you at the moment. I am learning the basics. I've literally just got my head around like how the shutter, the f stop, the exposure, and ISO all work together. And even, even then, I got the order the wrong way around, really. I mean, so. Yes, I kind of, I kind of get it, but I don't know. And also, like, I don't always get tack sharp shots, as 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 the Americans like to say, um, on YouTube, because I don't know. Maybe I've done something wrong with the autofocus, or who knows. But uh, I have, I have heard rumour that unfortunately that uh, this camera down here. I'll rephrase that. Not the camera the lens, the 200 to 500 uh, f 5.6 has had issues, or people have had issues with the sharpness of it. And um, I'm definitely, there's definitely a bit of softness to it. Now, it might just be that that's the natural thing of the lens, and I, I really believe it could be, because I have had some amazingly sharp shots on this. So I just think it's one of those sort of lenses that you, it's not quite expensive enough for you to really demand the sharpness, but God, if they could get it crisp for that price, it'd be amazing. It's a fantastic lens. But anywho, so we'll get back. I'll have a look at those yellow hammer picks that I took and we'll see how sharp or not sharp they are and um, then I get to either blame the camera again 
or blame myself. I do blame myself mainly because I think the distances I'm trying to push this thing to are, are probably a bit too far for the size of the birds that I want to photo. That's my honest conclusion at the moment from what I'm uh, experiencing. But yeah, um, I'm still out. I'm still walking about. It's still a lovely morning. The, there was threatening rain a bit, but it's kind of dissipated now, and it's just overcast and just beautiful, really. Um, I like doing um, this sort of thing, and and uh, if I'm honest, that the this this vlog stuff is a bit new to me, uh, and I and I am finding it a bit jarring, like putting it in, because I kind of get so absorbed with being out here. That when I have to stop to do these um, little chats, it's uh, difficult for me a little bit at the moment. Um, breaks the spell, but at the same time, I kind of enjoy it because I get to share it. So, yeah, bear with me. I think these are going to get better. <laughs> They're definitely not going to get worse. Uh, I'm definitely going to see more. Not to blow my own trumpet pretty good at finding stuff most of the time um, and I did find Nightjar this morning I just didn't get a chance to um, picture it and actually to be honest with you I really should have got you guys out but I thought it was so dark that this camera wouldn't um, wouldn't work in the dark but you know at the end of the day you could have made out some outlines and then heard the call so I regret that now I, I wish I'd sort of let you guys in and, um, to see that or hear that more to the point um, next time. It's all a learning curve. We'll get there. Oh, it is beautiful. It's like, why would you? Why would you want to? You want to be anywhere else, really? Yeah. Okay. All right then, peeps. So it's um quite a bit later now. Let's have a look at the time. Oh sleeves annoying it's uh, half past seven now um, I've just taken a few more pictures I, th I, th I had one particular picture of a, a juvenile stone chat that I think has come out really well but what to, to do next so I've been out here since half four um, there's not a great deal uh, going on uh, it's it's nice but there's not a huge amount of opportunity so I might head back now and um, have some breakfast and just have a think about what to do with the rest of the day but it's been a good day uh, unless you see me again because I found some sort of amazing <laughs> find uh, I'm gonna probably call it there but yeah it's always worth coming out still 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 enjoy it regardless so uh, yeah catch you next time